shout out to all my guys and goddesses checking out this video. I am C, the spiritual goddess, here for another starlight compilation. Yes, guys and goddesses, leave me some star emojis if you are here checking out this video. In today's video, we will be talking about Russell Simmons, Kamora Lee Simmons' child, and their children. We'll also be talking about Remy Ma and Papoose. Rumors have been swirling. And I'm going to touch on this whole Kylie Jenner and Meg thing. I'm going to give you my thoughts on that. Before we get into this video, don't forget, if you haven't already booked your readings, now my sale for my text readings has been extended. So if you guys want to get your three questions for $25, take advantage of that. We have extended that. Uh, throughout this week along with phone reading. So make sure you guys book that if you want to there. All right, guys and goddesses. Oh yeah, major shout out to my Patreon peeps. Okay, guys and goddesses. So let's go here. You know, we just gonna jump in. I'm gonna just start off with the Kylie because it's not a reading and I just wanna do this. I wanna start off with this whole Kylie and Meg thing. This is really my thoughts on it. So recently Kylie Jenner posted a clip of her on TikTok to a Tory Lane song that's very popular. Now, Tory Lane's music has still been doing good. I know people, you know, thought that he was going to his career was over, but he's still been on the charts for not mistaken a year. Tory Lane's fans, y'all tell me. But there's been a popular on TikTok that's been rate making noise. So Kylie posed with it and then it started this whole conversation. We saw a lot of people, especially black women like myself, on Twitter basically dragging Kylie and people was on the neighborhood talk they were just dragging Kylie saying you know it's weird that she would pose a Tory why would she be weird to you know especially what happened with Meg with the whole thing why would she be doing this she's always disrespect black women okay all of that right 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 you know y'all know the typical conversations that always happen online when people get up in a bunch about the Kardashians once again here's my thoughts I don't know why people get so up like what do you expect from the Kardashians? This is my whole thing. I wish black women like my step myself would stop looking for anything like besides entertainment. Like besides like if you just watch their show, because I'm not one of them people who be like, oh, why how why do black women watch the show? I, I used to watch the Kardashians. I'm probably gonna watch the Deuces. I don't know if it's on. Y'all tell me. But I wish we would stop expecting anything from the Kardashians. You know, I wish black women would stop expecting anything from a lot of these people in the industry that steal from us okay my whole thing is this you know how many times are y'all going to com complain countless times about why the kardashians don't why we don't see the kardashians stand up for black women why they do this and, look ain't nothing over there for us do you get what i'm saying do y'all understand that ain't nothing over there another thing i'm going to tell you this unpopular opinion Kylie wasn't wrong for posing with that Tory Lane song which I don't understand people forget about the case Kylie and Meg fell out if you if you pay attention to the case Kylie and Meg actually had beef hell Kylie and her friend was talking about Meg the day of the shooting they've been trolling her like and like because supposedly Meg and Kylie got into it. You know, Meg supposedly told Kylie according to EJ allegedly, you know, I thought you was a fake ass bitch. You know, Meg was drunk. I thought you was a fake ass bitch, but you actually cold. She, you know, had a problem with Tori over there with Kylie, you know, supposedly he was, you know, they was thinking about swishing. She had a problem with that. And supposedly they had gotten into a confrontation when Meg came back. So I mean, what do you expect out of them? And this is not to excuse or anything, but I just, I just hate this conversation. Like I hate this conversation with our, with my sisters about why aren't the Kardashians, you know, full with us. I hate the conversations about why don't certain groups, including, including some of our men don't consider dark skinned women attractive. Why? Like it make us look like insecure bitches. And we, and like, as a black woman, I'm not, I mean, we are the, look, can we have a conversation? Can we talk? You know, this is not to put down anybody else, any other, one other group, but we are literally the prototype when it comes to, to the beauty standards. So why are we arguing about the beauty standards? Hell, if you go back to ancient Africa, a lot of stuff they practice today, you'll be surprised because, because of us. So 
I'm just tired of this whole talk. I wish people would just like get over it. and this proves that everybody ain't really comfortable in the verdict when it comes to Meg. If y'all was so comfortable with the verdict with Meg the Stallion, it wouldn't be no uh, having to argue. That's because deep down, despite everything, a lot of us like a lot I this is just what I feel and I could be wrong. I feel like if a lot of people took their emotions and not make this a, you know, black man versus black woman thing, what happened to us and all, I feel like a lot of you will see that there's some inconsistencies in the case and it's not 100% just Tory Lanez did it. But that's for a different conversation. For those of you who's been wondering why I haven't did like a little update on Tory or even a Meg reading, um, whenever I do a Meg, Tory uh kelsey anything if it's a video that's and i'm not trying to say this because you guys know y'all know i love me some meg i'm a hottie but i do feel like dude, i don't know if it's the rock nation voodoo child but it seems like youtube doesn't like when i talk about those three together they put my video in hold for those of you who don't know when i do video meg so i don't know i feel like you know there's when I hear people that say, and for those of you who don't know, I'm neutral to the situation. But when I hear people that say, it seems like there's a narrative that's trying to be pushed in Meg's favor because they don't believe, or because they, they're not 100% so, solid. I, I'm i not saying that because of my YouTube is happening. But I can understand that thought. <laughs> Alright, I don't know. Maybe it's just a my channel thing. I don't know. Alright, guys, I got to say, so that's what I have to say about them. Let me know what you guys think. I already know some of the comments, you know, don't, it's not going to be favorable, child, but don't waste your time because they're going to just be hell for review. So, and delete it. I probably won't even see it. So, if you can have objective conversations, go ahead and leave your comment. <laughs> All right. We're going to move on. We are going to move on to Russell and Kimora and I hope I pronounced her name right. Ayoki. I don't want to pronounce Baby girl. And her sister, I believe Ming is her nickname. All right. Shout out. Who used to watch Fabulosity? Look, this is how, look, I'm showing my age, okay? 36 next month. This is how long I used to watch reality TV. Who remembers that whole Fabulosity, that her, her whole reality show? I used to watch Kamora Lee reality show, actually. I, it's just so crazy to see her daughters grown because it was like, oh my gosh, I remember when they were little yeah so that's crazy shout out to baby fat let me tell you baby fat didn't got me <laughs> plenty of cuties back in the day okay <laughs> all right let's get into this so recently uh if you guys have been, have been living in iraq kimora lee recently came out to expose russell simmons along with his daughter allegedly he's been harassing he's allegedly hit rock bottom now, we did know about the, I don't know if you guys know, but there was reports about a lawsuit Russell Simmons did sue Kimora or try to sue her. If I'm not mistaken, I don't know what happened with that case. I think nothing came of it. I'm not sure, but that's what Kimora is claiming. But there's been a fight, basically. I'm not going to go too much into this because I don't want to make this video deep. Go look it up. It's on the Neighborhood Talk. I'll leave comments and different things like that. I want to know if these claims are true. Is Russell Simmons broke? Now, I would believe it because for those of you who don't know, he did flee to Bali after claims w was made about him allegedly. And I have to say, tarot readings are for entertainment purposes. My interpretations of the cards is just that. My interpretations. Everything's allegedly, child. All right, let's see. Did uh, what's, what's Russell Simmons' bag looking like? You know, people don't, people always talking about putting your money overseas, what they don't tell you. And this is the thing a lot of people don't know. It costs a lot of money to keep your U.S. dollars overseas. And you you may not believe that, but that's true. If you're not a citizen, it, it can cost a lot of money. It could be a lot of, uh, a lot of money to hold that, to hold your own money over there. So I can see that, um... First card that came up is bag low. So his bag is definitely low, child. How is Russell Simmons' bag now? Yeah, his bag is definitely low. You know, when they start, when they bag get low, when the, when narcissist bag get low, they start showing they ass, don't they? Don't they? Mm-hmm. He got some news in regards to his finances. Yeah. He got some news in regards to his finances. It could be, I don't know why I'm getting like tax or like, 
I don't know. I feel like when he get when he the reason why he sneaks in America because he might get arrested for either arrest or handle with a lawsuit in regards to finances. However, this is what I do have to say. For those of you who do know Russell Simmons' history, how he started his label and different things like that, and what he been through, you can definitely say luck was on his side because he used to be a full-fledged, alleged white powder abuser <laughs> and had a problem with alcohol, allegedly. But he still managed to make it through. I believe I believe his story was he been through some near-death experience. I, I might be getting him and someone else mixed up. Anyway, I do feel like he will get his bag again. This is what Spirit is saying. I, while I do feel like his luck may have ran short, I wouldn't be surprised if Spirit is telling me, I don't know why I'm picking up that I could see someone giving him some type of relief. That's why I'm what I'm getting. I don't know why, but I got like, there is going to be some changes. We're going to hear about him having financial issues and different things like that. And I feel like what Spirit is saying, though, I feel like he will get some type of assistance. So, I don't, that came up. I wasn't expecting that to come up. All right. All right, Spirit. So, did the children allege about his mental health issue, like him having mental health issues? Now, I don't know because Russell Simmons always, in my opinion, had a... We, we, we did, uh, we used to call it was ticky ticky boom boom a little bit. Like, he always seemed like he would go off in any second to me. I don't know. Like, maybe, maybe his children, you know, ch girls see a different side of their dad. You know what I'm saying? Let's see. Let's see. How is Russell Simmons' mental state? Russell Simmons. I think it's something to it, guys. I do think they're not lying when they say that. Spirit is saying this is one of the reasons why he squandered his money. Yeah, he doesn't have any money. I do feel like, yeah, this is one of the reasons why he's squandered his money, actually. There's a tower moment that's about to happen. I feel like we're in the midst of the tower moment. Yeah, we're in the midst of the tower moment. This is the beginning of him. I definitely feel like we're going to hear about uh, Russell Simmons owing a lot of people money. We're definitely going to hear about that. I do feel like this makes sense. The way I'm looking at this Empress in reverse, I feel like this is the Empress like was Kimura. She was protecting him, but she's not protecting him anymore. I'm definitely getting that. I definitely feel like, yeah. There is something to it. We're going to hear a lot of things. I wouldn't be surprised if... I wouldn't be surprised if we see him responding a lot. And did you guys see his get, see his response to his children like and Kimura afterwards? It was given typical narcissist, by the way. But anyway, yeah. I definitely do feel like... Yeah, I definitely feel like we're going to hear a lot about this. We're going to hear a lot. When it comes to his mental health. Um, and I feel like he's going to be responding crazy. Alright, let's see. Let's see. Like, if that was my dad and I just told you my grievances. You told me to breathe and all that. What he said in that response. I'd be like, go to hell. Anyway. Alright. Let's see. Let's see. On a spiritual level, why is this happening? Why is this happening to Russell on a spiritual level? Why is he getting exposed? Mm-hmm. Okay. It's one of those things where you where you win in one area, you can't win in another area. What I'm getting is you know, while he may have been an amazing businessman to some and people have called him a guru and you know to others and different things like that, you know, he's giving advice. It's because it's surface level. Like, what I'm picking up is, I'm not saying Russell Simmons has, hasn't done work or went over and found his, his own spiritual awakening, but I do feel like it's, it's, how would I say it? And I hope I make, I hope I'm making this, making sense of this. It's like when people run to religion to, because of guilt. In a way, it's sort of like that. Like, if I had to explain it, it's like he, you know... It's like he wants to to try to move forward, but 
there's still some things you have to pay for in the past. I honestly feel like this is his ancestor sitting him down. I don't know why I'm getting a sense like, you know, he works, he, he focused so much on being a quote unquote good businessman and uh, obtain his millions, but he probably did. He lost sight of who he was is what spirit is saying at one point. And I'm definitely getting a sense. It's like, this is one of those things where they say you either pay in the front end or the back. It's like from a spiritual level, I'm definitely getting a sense. You can't hide. You can try to hide and put on this image, but you like things will, will come to a head and be exposed. I definitely feel like we're going to see a lot of these moguls be exposed. If you want to talk about it. a lot of this facade, especially when it comes to Hollywood in these next next years, I see uh, five years is going to be broken. It's going to have to be broken down. And I feel like Russell, you, you can't run away from your karma is what spirit is saying on a spiritual level. So this is definitely giving me that type of energy. I also feel like there's going to be people in the industry working against him. I feel like there's some people in the industry that's been waiting for him to have a slip up and fall like this. And the fact that your family is not protecting you, because I do feel like, and if you listen to Kimora, how her and her husband have given him loans now. Allegedly, they were stealing. I don't know. We going to see if she was stealing from him. What Spirit is saying is people do feel like it's going to be greenlit. Like, they're going to be playing on your head top, Russell. I feel like a lot of people, and it's not even playing on your head top. I feel like people are going to start exposing stories of shady practice deals. I feel like this is going to be for a lot of these businessmen, these moguls, these people that we look up to, these billionaires. We're going to see a lot of facade breaking when it comes to that. All right, let's get into Kimora, child. Did she steal the coins, child? Did she steal the funds, Kimora? Did you steal? Did you steal from Russell? Or is he mistaken? Okay, what is the overall energy? Did she steal? Did she steal? Let's give me the energy, spirit. Y'all saw how she admitted that, even though we all knew this, you know, they were dating when she was in high school, a sophomore in high school. Did you guys see that? And that's what I say. These men be predatory. All right. So I do see her. When she says she gave her money, I do see that the financial assistance has came out. Okay. Okay. This is him with his bag low. What happened with his money? She's not lying when she said that. When she said that she gave her money because his bag was low. What I do, this is what I this is what I am picking up. This was a bad investment. I'm picking up that she may have invested. It's giving me the energy of someone who invested in his brand. So let's say, I don't know, and I could be wrong. I'm getting a sense when the relaunch happened for for those of you who don't know. You know, I used to be a, a fashion uh, guru. <laughs> but for those of you who don't know, Baby Fat actually relaunched with, I believe it was like Forever 21 or something like that. And it was huge because, you know, the 2000s aesthetic is coming back. For those of you who don't know. They relaunched, if I'm not mistaken, it was either Forever 21. It could have been, I don't believe it was Fashion Nova. But it was a, a big deal, right? I feel like it was something surrounding that. Something surrounding, because for those of you who don't know, Russell Simmons owned Fat Farm and then um, partly Baby Fat, but Kimora owned, if I'm not mistaken, majority of Baby Fat. I'm picking up something like Russell Simmons is, is giving me either that or some type of other fashion investment that happened. And I'm picking up that the investment went wrong. So I don't feel like, and if I have to be honest with you, did she, did Kamora steal from him? No, I'm not getting as more steal. It's like, it's giving me an idea of like someone who recouped what was like a bad investment. Like, okay, we, we got to pull out because, and, and maybe it's something where she retained, like the contract says she retained majority ownership or something like that, something of that nature. But I'm not getting, I'm not getting that. Yeah, I'm not getting that. And I'll be honest with you guys, if I feel it, I'm not getting that. I'm not picking up thievery. Now, that doesn't mean, she, now, Spirit is telling me that doesn't mean she's not a thief, though. 
<laughs> if that makes sense. I don't feel like she stole from him, but that doesn't mean she ain't no thief now. Okay, that's another, that's another video. Let's go ahead and pull. What is, what is going to be the outcome of him and his daughter's relationship? Him and his daughter's relationship. What will be the outcome? His spirit guys really want him to repair his relationship with his daughters. Yeah. He's going to try to play it out like he's above the rest. Like, meaning that makes sense with, with that whole thing. His response, because he got to try to portray himself as the guru, the spiritual enlightenment one. But I see right through that shit, honestly. I feel like there's always going to be issues with him and his daughter. Until he learns to value, and his spirit is a spirit guide to say, until you learn to value your children and you make amends, I definitely feel like he's, you're always going to have issues, Russell. I definitely feel like that. I feel like this is a lesson for his daughters, really, um, because I definitely feel like even though this may hurt, and I definitely can understand from a certain point, like being young, that young at that age and you know going through issues with with your father your spirit guys are saying like th i feel like this is a this is karmic like this is going to set them up to do something greater this is going to push them forward is what spirit is saying i don't know why i see a reality show for the two girls at kimura i wouldn't suggest going on reality but that just came to me i wouldn't be surprised if from this they get like they try to do a reality i really hope they don't get into to that because i do feel like hollywood chews young people up and spit, spits them out but yeah all right let's go ahead and get into what's going to be the outcome with russell simmons what's going to be the outcome and then we're going to move on to oh this is a y'all getting a good long video today we're going to go ahead and move on to remy my papoose after this all right, all right, let's see, let's see. There's gonna be another scandal that he's going to go through. I feel like it's gonna be a viral moment. I don't know why I'm getting, and I could be wrong. I feel like it could be, it could have to do with a rapper. It's gonna be a losing battle. You're, you're not gonna be able to like overcome these rumors and allegations and different things. However, this is karmic for Russell, too. I do feel like his spirit guys are wanting him to move and pivot. If he could get through this whole scandal and, like, take accountability, child, which mm, I'm getting narcissist energy. But if he could, I definitely feel like he can overcome this and create something great and go into something great from this. But I don't know. I do feel like there's going to be a lot more that we're going to hear about him. Um, a, a lot of a lot of weird situations that he's going to uh, be in. And we're going to catch him in. So, yeah, that's what I got for him, gods and goddesses. Let me know what you guys think about this. I know you will. But, yeah, gods and goddesses, let's go ahead uh, we are going to move on to Remy Ma and Papoose, okay? I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you're watching the premiere, I'm sorry I couldn't go live. I just, you know, the energy just wasn't doing what it needs to be done yesterday. So I just decided to give y'all this long video. Okay, so there's been rumors that Papoose and Remy are having issues. I don't know if you guys watched the Star Report. He's a, he's a key. A caller came on who was supposedly at the battle. And claim that Papoose and what was that guy's name? Ooh, it's right in my mind. I think the guy was named Easy the the captain or something. This is a this was a battle rap. It supposedly allegedly Papoose has swung on him and the battle was was over with. They're alleging that it was because he is having an affair with Remy. Now there was someone who came in the comments and said that. You know, they believe they cheat on each other because Papoose was trying to talk to their mama on my radio con uh, comments. Now, people could just say anything in the comments, child. I don't know. But there's been some alleged rumors. Now, Remy Ma did come out in, in for what you guys told me in the comments. She cleared up and said that's not what happened. Like, there's no, like, yeah, the battle rap got canceled, but 
It ain't had nothing to do with her and Papoose. And you know what? I hope this is true because they got a cute little family. Their daughter is so cute. So we are going to see what's the overall energy. Now, she didn't post him on Father's Day, which is kind of weird. But, you know, I don't know. People are saying it's weird, but everybody ain't on social media, guys. Like, I mean, everybody don't put everything on social media. So I don't know. Let's get the overall energy. What's the overall energy between Remy Ma and Papoose? Now, they're trying to say he moved out of the condo. I don't know. Let's see. What's the overall energy of Remy Ma and Papoose? Overall energy of Remy Ma and Papoose. Remy Ma and Papoose. Okay, so we got the Six of Wands, Three of Wands, Two of Swords in Reverse, and then the Five of Cups. So this six of wands represent a stable relationship to me. So that's number one. Usually when I get this six of wands, I like to see this when it comes to relationships because it's like stable energy along with this three of wands. So, cause that means moving forward. I like, I get good energy. I don't know. I, I'm not believing this. Let's see. But I'm not going to lie to you though. This two of swords in reverse along with this five of cups is making me think like there is some truth to something that's happening in the relationship. Like, wow, I feel like this six of wands and this three of wands represents a solid foundation with this two of cups in reverse and this five of cups is giving me someone like, like an indecisive decision and like delays in a relationship. And usually when I get this five of cups, a lot of times it means like finding out some information, finding out the truth about your relationship. Let's get some clarity, child. I'm going to pull out my love cards, my love oracle. Okay, wait a minute. Now, is, do we need to pray for Remy, Ma, and Papoos? Let's see. Give me some clarity for this two of swords in reverse five of cups. Give me some clarity. Remy, Ma's energy, clarity. Remy, Ma's her relationship. Okay, so I do feel like she, okay, so this is what I'm getting. I feel like there is an issue going on in their relationship because the card I got is it hurts so much. I can't talk to you right now. Will you leave me like the others? So I do feel like there is some question of will you leave me? All right, let's see. Papoose, how is he feeling? How is Papoose feeling? I think it might be a little bit of truth now. Maybe not exactly what the caller said, but I feel like it might be a little bit of truth, guys, to something going on with them. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. You know what? I feel like his emotions is high, but let's see. I feel like they, if I had to be honest with you, I feel like they have a toxic relationship. They have a toxic relationship where they do this. I feel like this is a cycle. I do feel like he may, the truth of him leaving the home may be true. However, I don't feel like he's going anywhere, guys. I feel like they get into it all the time. Like, this is not to excuse this, but I feel like they get into it all the time. I feel like this is their cycle. I don't know why the image of, um, if you guys haven't seen the James Brown remake with Chadwick Boseman, him and, I forgot, you know, the character Jill Scott played, his wife. Like, they had, I don't know why I'm getting that image for Remy Ma and Papoose. Like, that's their relationship. Like, they do this often. Okay, so, did this battle have anything to do with it? Let me see. Why did, why did Papoose, why did Papoose allegedly have an altercation with the battle rapper? Was there something that happened? Show me what happened. Show me what happened in Y Spirit. During that, show me what happened and why. Okay, so, yep, this is the battle. All right. Ooh, let me, why secret of mine are coming up? All right, let's see. <laughs> let's see. Did you mess up with that man? All right, let's see. Yeah, so I do feel like some, because I got the you need to defend is, is coming up again, yeah. I do feel like, um... There is some truth to them fighting. 
I don't know. I do get Secret Admire, but I don't think it has to do with cheating. I feel like maybe someone said a slick line. Well, I don't know. I'm getting like ego. This really has to do a lot with the money. I don't know why I'm getting like money. Yeah. I wonder, did he say something? Yeah, I wonder, was it something like that was said that was that he deemed disrespectful? That's the vibe I'm getting. That's the vibe. So what I'm picking up that happened. Do I feel like there? Do I feel like there was a fight? Yes. Do I feel like it had something to do with the lovers' lovers' quarrel? No. I do feel like it may be something to the effect of someone like who's feeling like you know he either had to defend his family or there was something disrespectful being said yes but no nah, i'm not picking up i'm not picking up a lover's quarrel i do feel like remy ma and papoose are having issues but i do feel like if i have to be honest with you this is like one of the this is their thing let's see what will be the outcome of their relationship what's going to be the outcome of their relationship what's going to be the outcome of their relationship I don't know why I be feeling like someone be in the house. It could be Remy. Like, I make the money. I make this. All right. This is what I want to say for them. I do feel like they they going to always go back, be like, go back together. I do feel like they, they may be, there may be some separation. But I am warning you guys. Because I got the marriage card. So, I feel like they're always, like, they got this thing where they always going to try to put the, like, put the family first. I do feel like there is some things hidden. I feel like they both have some secrets from each other, though. And I do see that being exposed. I feel like there is some type of energy of someone who's giving me stalker vibes who wants some money. This could be Papoose. Could be Remy. I feel like y'all need to check y'all little groupies. Because I do feel like there is someone that is going to come out. Um, that's going to expose secrets. It's kind of giving me a little stalker energy. They're going to talk about what's happening. But I feel like I do see a lot of secrets being exposed, guys. I wouldn't be surprised if it gets reported about Remy Ma and Papoose breaking up, being separated or something like that. But I feel like they always going to get back. They're like, I, um, this is what I'm picking up. They love their dysfunction. They love and live in their dysfun dysfunction, whether that's a good thing, child. Let me see. Let me get some clarity. What's, what's next for them? Let's get some clarity. There are some secrets coming out. Somebody wants to come out and, and spill some tea on them in their family. Someone wants to come out and spill some tea on their them and their family. Yeah. And it has something to do with them not paying them that's going to make them come out. That's what it's giving me. Next for them. I feel like I wouldn't be surprised if they have an open relationship or an unconventional relationship. I don't know why I'm seeing a even, I'm getting like another baby actually to their family. So it could be Remy and Pap Papoose or maybe one of their, because I think they have adult children, but I'm seeing another baby. But ultimately, I do feel like we they will have a more unconventional relationship, I see, before they just completely like break up like an open relationship i do feel like their spirit guides are warning them though this is the energy i'm getting i'm getting i see them like having an open relationship but like them it's not working for one of them i feel like their spirit guides are saying are wanting them not to get too comfortable with each other not to get to get too comfortable and get into routine i also feel like one of them works so much that they forget about their relationship. But overall, guys, I think like Remy and Papoose, they just got that type of relationship. I wouldn't be surprised if someone comes out, but I feel like they just got that type of relationship where, you know, they do what they want. And they argue and they're toxic and then they come back together. But that's their relationship. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I like these little starlight compilations. Let me know who else you guys want me to do a reading on. Don't forget to check out the uh, the true crime video I did too, guys. I'm really trying my hand at true crime. So I hope you guys will support my true crime videos. I did do one on Joshua uh, Gimun. So make sure you guys check that out. I will link it in the comments. And then also check out the video I did on Remy Ma and Nikki on my Patreon that is available. So I'll leave the link there. 
But yeah, guys and goddesses, until then, see you in the next video. Peace. Oh,